at the time i hope you know that in your christian experience you will get to a point where you will meet a lot of people with influences that produce results but if you have a rich ministry with the holy spirit you will be able to know that this is not the holy spirit and you may even be able to help them listen in my life and in ministry i've had the opportunity of praying for people especially kids kids that they brought that were demonstrating superhuman abilities it was because of this relationship with the holy spirit are we together remember in the book of acts the experience of paul remember the little girl who was using divination many of us now would have entered partnership with her in ministry many of us you can't allow that opportunity to pass you by like that that is a rich opportunity for strategic alliance she even volunteered this is a great man i mean what else would you for someone to announce you using her credibility but he looked and looked and said no something is wrong the holy spirit i have met people in my life this is a true story i have met people in my life who called my name and prophesied to me and they were not christians they've not given their life to christ not it's not something hidden i remember one time i think it was niger i was going to have a meeting i think it was niger republic or so and we were going we went we flew to lagos and then went by road somewhere when we were doing just the immigration formalities i remember some of you go to the market and you see these people they are there they can call your name with uncanny accuracy if you do not have an encounter with the holy spirit your search for visionary solutions will lead you to delusion joshua selman ah who are you well i'm not exactly an evil person but i'm not by everybody's visionary experience is powered from a source what source powers that vision it is not the correctness of the information is the source that powers it and listen you have no right to just look at people and begin to judge them if your own relationship with the holy spirit is not alive by what parameter you will become judgmental and you will mix both good and bad and call everybody fake it is on the strength of your relationship with the holy spirit you can decipher Are we learning now yes sir there are times that I've shaken hands with people and I look at them sincerely and you see them manifesting a semblance of the anointing and I know this is not God sometimes I make one statement and they are delivered there and they themselves will be surprised I know a woman one time that I prayed for this woman would have visionary encounters people would come to her house she can pray for you she said she had testimonies of people who were buried who god opened their wombs but she knew something was wrong because when she lies to sleep she will be tormented by evil spirits yet this gift supposedly was working in her life the day i met her she came thank god she was a sincere woman she was honest and she told me she said this is a gift that has been working in her life people have sowed into her life she's had results but i knew this was not the spirit now it didn't mean the woman was bad i have a relationship with the holy ghost i know how he operates i know what is not him and i held the woman's hands and i prayed for her why did they flog the apostles in the bible because they tampered with somebody's way of getting money there were some evil men who saw that young girl and when they saw her instead of them to lead her to someone who will help her they decided to cash in on the opportunity while those demons continue to torment that girl i love the apostles when they came they didn't have time for rubbish they rebuked that spirit even though they flogged them later on but at least jesus was glorified are we together encounter with the holy spirit listen to me until you cultivate your relationship with the holy spirit you will never step into the realm of discernment and sensitivity and in this end time brothers and sisters you need sensitivity there are many things that look like god that is not god there are many things that look like god speaking to your destiny i can prophesy favor upon you now and say in the name of jesus christ be favored you will say amen the moment you say amen you will see a text in your phone after service and it's 419 people 
they will tell you give us your account number give us something and um, um, there is some money that you want somewhere you have you seen those kinds of people and the devil will now connect it to the prophetic word of favor and that begins your destruction for instance but when you know the Holy Ghost you know how he operates you know that this is not God and you dump that nonsense out of your phone and give yourself rest there are times you sit down and you are doing you are talking with people you are about to do a business with them they are so articulate they are intelligent everything is right but here comes the Holy Ghost again he tells you no no I know I told you that I will bless you next week but this is not it the blessing is coming but this is not it and there are times that many things will not look like it but it is it it is still him that will tell you you see that is the strange thing with the Holy Spirit you will see a job that does not look like it and the Holy Ghost will tell you take that job 50,000 when I am waiting for one that will give me 250 and the Holy Ghost will tell you take it but this does not look like the vision I saw because you have an encounter with the Holy Ghost he will say take it whilst you are in that job your uncle will come and it is through that job you'll be sent for a training and you will meet your destiny helper and within five months you will leave that job into where God showed you now had you not heard God you will not even know how to navigate to that realm